What's happening, beautiful gamers? Blank here, and welcome back to another episode of Lies of P. And a cool detail, if you guys are noticing, look at how look at our hair. Our hair is longer now. Is that a sign that we're becoming human? Is that what's going on? I don't know. I think it's a pretty cool detail that our hair is growing. And I decided to change my outfit because the classy outfit that we had on the cover of the game is just too good. Anyways, before we start the episode, I want to remind you guys, if you guys are enjoying it, don't forget to let me know by leaving a like and subscribe to the channel to catch up with more. But on that note, we got somebody to talk to over there and with the hands and then with Geppetto. So let's see what she has to say. I'm afraid you saw my bad side at the Grand Exhibition. I was able to escape, thanks to you. I didn't mean to be ungrateful. I'm a soldier from outside Krat. They sent us in pairs to investigate. I got trapped by the blockade and separated from my partner. I don't think the puppets are the only things at play here. Can I stay with you until I get in touch with my partner? Uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want. I get the puppets, but what are the monsters doing here? What is happening to Krat? It's going to hell. I get the pup. What is happening? So what's the point of... Uh, do I have to find your partner for you to be able to be my friend or something like that? I don't know. Needy bitch. <laughs> Whatever. What's Will up with you? you? do... Um... Me a favor? Absolutely. For once, it's not difficult or dangerous. Just... Give this to Alidoro. I give it to him myself, but he's in the barren swamp now. He'll understand the significance of this gift. I know. Just do this for me, and, and I'll be grateful. Four finger glove. Oh, so you're in love with Alidoro? Is that the deal? Anyways, we can level up our weapon now. You guys see it? <sighs> Boom. 17. Now we're probably needing four. Yeah, needing four is just disgusting. And then unfortunately, we cannot level up this bad boy just yet, because we haven't found one. My guess would be is that plus five is the maximum level of that weapon, and that's why it's so difficult. And I'm guessing that Alidor is no longer here. He went to make some friends in the swamp, I guess, because, you know, people of Krat is not good enough. Anyways, that key that we got in the previous episode also, it's super useless. It's a statue that allows you to do the same as the golden tree, but the golden tree is easier to access. So I do not understand what's the point of that statue. Maybe for a DLC later on? Maybe. I have no idea. Anyways, we have a quartz to invest, and then we have a conversation with Yepeto to be had. So, oh, look at that. Papa is standing up. And I just decided to improve the amount of pulse cells that we have. And uh, now, what's up, Papa? Oh, my. This is a change I didn't expect. Did the King of Puppets get you? Or some other ruffians? I'm glad you're growing. But I'm not sure what to make of this. Make of what? Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy for me. I mean, don't be saying be a good boy for me. That's fucking creepy, but... What were you expecting? That my hair is growing? Ah, I'm glad you're here, my son. Have you seen that painting? Yes, I did. I can't believe my eyes. It's almost as if something is growing out of the portrait. Something is growing out of the portrait. I remember commissioning that piece from an artist named D. Gray. Like all artists, he was eccentric. He claimed that a painting could harbor a living soul. But how can that happen? Just like the fairy tale. Ba -bum -ba. Forgive a foolish man his ramblings. Perhaps the seed of its growth was there all along. I know you're curious, so see for yourself. I have my work to keep me busy. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate everything you said, but... At what point, it's just getting super... Oh, can I... Can I use it right now? It's just getting super long. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a sword or something. Are you planning on betraying me, you Geppetto? You don't remember much beyond Rosa Isabel Street, do you? Ask me about areas you want to know about. No, I think we're fine. We don't need to cover any of that. But yeah, he... Is he planning to get rid of me? I mean, I'm about to become a human, bro. And you created the heart that I need to use for that. Anyways, my weapon is pretty strong right now, so we can Simon, go with it. Simon, I've been dreading this conversation. 
I should have told you about Simon earlier. But it's the sort of thing you have to see to believe. He is the most dangerous man in Krat. He spreads mayhem and death for a delusion he calls evolution. Simon wants to evolve a new world in Krat. A horrible future. Even worse than the carcass monsters we already face. That's why I woke you up. If you can't save Krat from Simon, no one can. Find the Isle of Alchemists. Someone must know how to get there. I will help as much as I can, of course. Please, save Krat. Whatever choice you make, I shall wait for you. That is why I'm the listener. To bear witness. I mean, I understand that you want me to save Krat, but it's not that easy, I'm just saying. Uh, two levels, perfectly two levels, that's fantastic, let's go. That's perfect. And then we have here stamina recovery, motivity, and increased weight because we need it, and the other items that we have are pretty strong. So we're doing a pretty fantastic job. Anyway, it's time for us to go back to the... Well, we defeated Victor, and then from there we have things to... Oh, wait, we still have to speak with somebody. Is that you? Alfonso? Lady Antonia has heard about the Grand Exhibition. She realizes their cure is meaningless. Her illness has worsened. Perhaps because she lost hope. I fear we might lose her soon. Lady Antonia cautions against it, to be sure. But I still believe that gold coin fruit is our last hope. I have heard about an alchemist who knows how to use that most miraculous of medicines. Please find a way to treat her. Wait, are you telling me that I need to speak with the guy? Oh, by the way, now these ones are permanent, which is great. I love it. So you're telling me that I need to speak with the guy and give him stuff so that way I can get a cure for her? Huh. Might do that. Yeah, I'll maybe maybe mm, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to think about it. It doesn't sound that pretty. And now we have to speak with that guy. Oh my god. Okay, you know what, game? If you want me to speak with people left and right, just tell me straight up. Don't 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 sweet talk me into like no no. Tell me. I guess it was pretty obvious though. Is it this way? Yes it is. If it goes wait, why is it raining though? <laughs> why? Okay, whatever. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give yeah, take the fruit, please. Thank you. We have a bunch of them. Let's see how many does this guy need to be able to craft a medicine or something. How's the cure for the petrification disease coming along? Glad you asked. It's going well, thanks to you. Sadly, it cannot cure everyone completely. Victims who have progressed too far have already lost organ function and there's no way to restore that. Even if we eliminate the petrification disease, they won't last long. Their passing might be less painful than petrification, though. Are you sure? I can make a cure, Mr. Stalker, but... I leave the choice to you. A longer but painful life, or a quicker but peaceful end. I'll make the cure if you give me one gold coin fruit. I have like a million, so get, here you go. There you go. A cure for Antonia. Stalker, please. If you. So, we 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 could buy this, and it's kind of interesting. But honestly speaking, once again, I, I don't see myself ever using those. They sound interesting. The cure isn't exactly stable. Give it to the patient as soon as possible. Okay, and I think I'm gonna give it to her because I think that that's the most compassionate thing to do. I think that she's in pain. So I think that that will help out a lot. I do not know if I'm making the right choice or not, but I think it's just right that we cure her. I think that that would be beautiful. Personally speaking, I would rather a short but beautiful end than a long but painful life. I believed in you, and my belief has been rewarded. She can be cured. It feels like a dream. The possibility of imminent death, though. Why won't pain ever leave her alone? I cannot make this choice. Every option is painful. I, 
cannot know what's best for her. What would... What would you choose? I would use a cure. Yes. I suppose ignoring her pain wouldn't be right. Thank you so much. No matter what happens, I will accept it. I will administer the medicine. Please accept this token of my gratitude. Just a radiant ergo fragment, pretty useless. No matter Who what knows? fate brings us, I serving her is my welcome, welcome to hotel. Yeah, whatever. And then, yeah, I wish he would have expanded his inventory a little bit more. You guys think that there's something more that I need to do in here? Anybody else to talk? No. Nope. So back to the no, not the opera house, the grand exhibition conference room. Because I mean. From this place onwards, hmm, complicated. But anyways, if we go back, we would be leaving this place. So we, there's nothing else for us to do. We're just gonna be moving forward. Let's see what is it that we're gonna find. Where already spoke with Simon. Simon, pretty cool looking, and that warrior next to him looked like a creep, for sure. Like with the face just locked in into a cage. What's the need of that? The Isle of Alchemists. According to the guide, Vanini visited that place. It's something, I guess. But why did he visit it, though? Like, why did he achieve? Was he just learning about alchemists or something? I don't know. I, I hope that Lady Antoinette, like, if she's gonna pass before we finish the game, it's kind of fun how the saw is so big that it just goes through the door, through the floor. It's kind of strange. And I'm gonna be using this weapon until I level up my other weapon. So, yeah, we're gonna be alternating between those two. Or maybe I'll just improve the pickaxe at some point, but the power difference is so big, I do not know. I don't really want to talk to you guys, you guys suck. Whatever, what are you gonna say? Ciao, Bello. It seems you and I share a strong connection. Suck on this one. Ugh. Talking to an alchemist is like talking to a brick wall. That's also an alchemist. Brother, you should say hello to your friend. But it is true that we are in something of a bind. We're going to need to consult with our old friend. You got that right, sister. Our pal is sure to help us. We didn't behave that badly at his last shindig. I hope. A moment, please. My young brother here is slowly but surely losing his very sight. His windows to the world. To a terrible, slow-working illness. That is why I seek the gold coin fruit. It's set to work miracles, and do I ever need one. The alchemists give us just enough to keep him going, but not enough to cure. And never what they promised. We can't rely on those crucible-kissing wizards. Please, don't make me beg. He needs this. Besides, for a fellow who raided the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's den and walked out in one piece, it'll be as easy as eating your weight in bumbaloni. Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Are you there? Can, can you hear me? Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Can you spare any? I give it as to you because I'm favor. never gonna use them, okay? You guys suck, but I'll still do it. <gasps> We knew you were a true friend, and generous. <laughs> That's right. I liked you from the start, you know. Just out of feeling. If you felt otherwise, that wasn't me. <laughs> Ignore this one. When he gets excited or just feels happy, he gets chatty. But he really is grateful. We both are. On that note, I hate to borrow and run, but we have another request from the Alchemist to take care of, so we will be staying behind. You'll need to go on without us. So, I suppose this is farewell. I won't ever forget your kindness. Here, a small token, but it's a gift from the heart. Now go. And um, we got a new music. I mean, I guess that's worth I it. I never forget a friendly. Yeah, that's pretty worth it because that way we can keep improving our humanity. Anyways, let's get the. What's the name of that? Cards, trains, wow. whatever. Secret 
island, a place hidden from the world. But even if we could find it, how to get there? <sighs> what about... I don't know if it even works anymore. But one still requires fuel, needs must when the devil drives. There could still be a way, a dangerous but marvelous mode of transportation. But it won't work without a golden ergo. My research, well, Pulcinella did a lot of the heavy lifting, has led me to believe you can find one deep within the barren swamp. It's also led me to believe it is guarded by actual monsters. So I can't make this decision for you. It's up to you. No, I'm not going to tell you the details yet. Not until we have that golden ergo. It's just not worth getting our hopes up, companion. You see, even the quest lines on this game are pretty straightforward. Like, you just go back and forth, the game kinda tells you where to go for the quests, and it's pretty simple. That's something that I'm actually a little bit impressed about. I thought... I don't know, I thought I thought this was one of those games, or was gonna be one of those games that if you wanna complete everything, you would need, like, to either spend a lot of time, or, like, try to make a guide, or, like look for a guide or something like that but honestly speaking the game itself is really uh, it's it's really self-explanatory i mean as long as you're being through in each section like going through each place you shouldn't have a hard time in, in this issue of enigma's guide we'd like to introduce a special place different from our previous feature attractions and we do not mean special in a good way of course it might cater to a few people with tastes, but if you're an adventurer who wants to know all about Krat, it's worth learning about its shadows. In that sense, the Barren Swamp is the area that showcases Krat's shadows well. The Barren Swamp is where scram poppins are discarded, because it's composed of swamps and ravines. It wasn't part of the city's development in the past, it was briefly a coal mine, but was soon forgotten because of the Erg of Discovery. Later, a few shred factory business concerned about scrap puppets began to dispose of them illegally here, turning the swamp into what it is now, a swamp full of discarded puppets and corrupted animals. It is Krat's grave itself. Locally, the city announced that they'll turn the barren swamp into a park with the exhibition just around the corner, so we're seeing some hope there. It's a living grave of hell. How about seeing this kind of place with your own eyes before anything's developed? Good or bad, an experience is an experience. Damn. 2 out of 5. Medoro, you guys are rude. Should have given a 5 out of 5 so the way crowd understands that. I mean, I know that puppets are just mindless creatures, but just look at Geppetto. Or, I'm sorry, Pinocchio. He He's kind of like growing a heart. And he's becoming a human because of all his decisions. Something that I am curious about is why... This place is... Okay, there's no easy way to say this, but... It's a puppet graveyard. Humans call it an illegal dumping site. The city tried to stop it, but eventually had much bigger concerns. If the Grand Exhibition's horrific solution spread this far too, it's just too terrible to think about. Oh, why am I thinking about it? That's not a perfect block, and now you're having a hard time, my friend. This is fine, because this robot that was giving me trouble in the past it's no longer an issue. Anyway, something that I'm curious about is... You guys remember how Sofia had to wake us up? For us to be able to do all of this? The question that I have is... Why were we asleep? Like, why did Geppetto put us to sleep? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Are, aren't I supposed to be his son? Like, what did I... What, did he put me to sleep to prevent me from transforming? Is that what's happening? Ha! <laughs> Idiot. I got a feeling that if I try to go down, I'll die. So we're definitely not going down. Um, but yeah, is that, is that what was going on? Like, maybe... 
and what Geppetto was trying to do is prevent for me to become or transform into one of those creatures. I think that that could be the case. Yep. And you guys see, even if my weapon has been leveled up, the damage is still pretty bad, so... Okay, sure. Oh my god, you were behind me. I didn't... I, what, what, what I was... I, I saw this dog on the back. And while I was killing stuff, I was thinking, maybe that dog is gonna come to me. And effectively, he did come to me. I wanna get more quartz. I need three more to get what I'm looking for. What is this? Behold, superior insulator converter. Which one is that one? Not this one. Is it this one? The one that we're using right now, we got it in one of the Trinity doors. Are you kidding me? Well, electrical reduces the fire, it increases some stuff, fire resistance, but increases the electrical resistance. Um, I'm gonna see. It seems like fire is gonna be a thing on this area, so I'm gonna keep the one that I have. But if electricity becomes a thing, then we'll change it. Because both are equally as valuable. The difference is one has more resistance against electricity and the other one against fire. Got a dog over here. Do I care about... Who the fuck shot at me? From where? Oh, that little piece of... This is personal, man. Oh, you didn't like that? Oh, you didn't like it? How about you eat two of this? Ah, ah. Wasn't fun, was it? Wasn't fun, was it? But well, guess what? I hope you didn't like it because I'm coming for you. I am 100% coming for you, the two of you. Assholes. One more. Oh, come on. Whatever. At the very least, he's dead now. I'm kind of impressed that both... Ugh. I thought it was somebody shooting at me, but no, it was just a trap. Kind of, kind of impressed that some enemies were just showing up in there, and that's fine. But we don't want to deal with you. I want to fall on top of this one. The other dog is not coming this way. We can deal with the corruption for a little bit. Just deal with the ergo fragment. Uh, make a run for it, and yeah, just take the corruption damage for a second. That's pretty much it, and then, yeah, there's another item. We should be fine. Attribute, resistance, and fuel. Um, you know what? Let's do, us, let's do all of us a favor and attribute, resistance, attribute, resistance. Uh, is this the one that also helps with corruption? Yes, it does. So I can just use it. Let's go. Give me a nice heal, and let's get going. Fix your weapon. Let's go. I already used three pulse cells. Not a huge fan of it, if I gotta be honest. A little bit too expensive. Not, re not really expensive, but more like... I mean, w when you're using a lot of pulse cells, it becomes expensive to the consumption. Uh, is that is that it, but like different? Yeah, it's it, but different. And it seems like electrical damage is gonna be a thing. Nope. Whoa, that was like a... If this was a three, if this was a 3D movie, that would have been awesome. Ow! Holy shit! Are you gonna kill me? Okay, yeah, he's about to fuck me up. Oh, excuse you. How are you so strong? Is okay, I can hit him two times. Charge it up. That was bad, but I can still hit you. That's perfectly okay. Just like I mentioned, really expensive on the consumption of items. Really expensive. And that's that's really complicated for me because we have three pulse uh, we have three left, which is not good. And how am I supposed to use those to my advantage? Like, how am I supposed to survive this whole area? Where is the next stargazer? You never know. Fortunately for us, I think that that enemy is gonna... I think that that enemy is gonna, like, just die. And if I die, I don't have to repeat all of that. But if he stays alive, that becomes complicated. Stupid traps. If I was a human by now, I would have lost my leg. 
Can I throw something at you? Is that the far guy? Most likely. Oh no, he's just a regular buy guy. And I have a bad feeling, so... Are you, the bridge is not gonna break on me? Uh, no, I guess this bridge doesn't break because we've been here before. Sure. Get your grinds back, and then what enemies have... What type of enemies? Ah, I see. Break it! Beautiful. Um, the bottom is obviously hell, and the bottom is obviously where we need to go. I think. Uh, it is not. We have to take care of this guy. I can fall on top of him and do and do and do him and do a lot of damage to his dick. Now we have to heal up. Okay, uh, you can take the fire damage if you want to. I mean, I don't think it's too smart for you to stay in there, but I guess you you being a a special robot, it kind of makes sense. Yeah, whatever. Do whatever you want. Just give me all of those beautiful points and give me this. Just a throw-in cell. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I, I, I would like to say shit and talk shit about that throw-in cell, but honestly speaking, the fact that it was given to me, it's a blessing because I'm using them a lot. I'm liking the usage of those items. And all you need is like 16,000 ergo and you go to the black market and you can buy them. <laughs> so it's, it's not like you need too many. Anyways, I think, I'm just saying that based on everything that's going on, this place just seems to be like a linear area instead of a instead of a dungeon. Let's call it dungeon, right? Like the, the mansion and everything else. <coughs> Shit. Who the fuck shot at me? You see, this is why I have issues with some things. It's like, you knew that something was gonna happen. You knew that something was coming. I just didn't know that the guy was gonna shoot at me so fast. Anyways, this is not like a dungeon, so we know that the place is not going to connect back and forth. It's just going to be straight. Uh, maybe we'll circle around to a different section, but it's definitely not going to... Oh, that's that's a, that's a guy. Let's go. I thought he was going to hit me and he was going to push me again and kill me out, but he didn't. He did not, and that's beautiful. Okay, be careful with this guy. Charge it up. Ooh! You know, that parry, I pressed on the last second. Like, I just remember that he was going to do another attack. So I didn't press it because I saw it. I pressed it because, like, muscle memory right there. I was like, he's going to do another attack. I need to be careful. And it was beautiful. Wait, what is this? Oh shit, that's gonna go down! Do you guys think that this is gonna connect back to the Star Geyser? Do you guys think that that is the Star Geyser? I mean, we can keep climbing this tower. Holy. Mm. I I feel like maybe, maybe going through the tower is the way is not the way to go. So we're gonna be expecting it. Because once again, probably going straight is the way that you have to visit. I thought that was a rock robot. Anyways, let's go up. Let's see what we're gonna find in here. Nothing on the back, that's beautiful. And yeah, the reason why I'm expecting this is because there's no way that this tower is gonna connect to some other towers and things like that, so... Feels like this is optional. Uh-huh. I have to guess and bet on it. That guy over there is not gonna be friendly. So, put one of those in there. Equip it. Focus. Yep, you guys see it? Just like that. I thought I didn't know if that he was gonna be tougher. I thought that it was actually gonna be an ambush between enemies. But the fact that he was still tough, I mean, that's that's just a plus for us. We'll take it and give me whatever it's inside. Recharge amulet. What do you do? Hmm. Recharge amulet. 
Restores HP continuously. That's actually a fantastic amulet. But based on considering that we are doing a playthrough <laughs> of this game, we definitely don't want to have something like that because that would mean that you have to like be waiting. I guess right now that we're having a, a nice walk around the area, it would be a good amulet to have because it would be restoring me slowly instead. But hey, doesn't matter. I could go straight or I could go this way. What is that? Is that an NPC? Oh! Those damn alchemists. The terms of the bargain. Almost intolerable. Well, it's not like I care about those hotel people anyway. But there are limits. Ahem. <clears throat> How do you do? It's quite odd that we should meet in a place like this. Oh, don't pretend surprised that I got here before you. After all, I can elude the darkest monsters, the loftiest beings. In fairness, I do benefit from your prowess as well. I shall tell you something since we're nearly peers. They say a terrible monster lives on the cliff at the end of the swamp. It behaves like a crow gathering shiny things. I have absconded with treasures from its lair, rare parts and weapons worthy of a hero. Now catch your interest? If you're hunting ergo monsters, you might put that friendly tip to use. You're a worthy hunter and it is worthy prey. Show that swamp monster what you're capable of. What an asshole. Can I give you something? You're a worthy hunter. Can I talk to you? Uh, here you go. What's this? A gift for a rescuer. From a technician girl. Hmm, I don't remember. I've saved so many of the common people. Anyway, uh, thank her, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. These gloves are a mess. They don't even fit. Is this a practical joke? <sighs> My god, I never did like that girl. She's just like him. Oh, <sighs> never mind. I thought you had better taste than this. How disappointing. Get these rags out of my sight. This guy You're is a, a worthy dick. hunter. This guy is 100% a dick. And hey, the new item that we got is this one. Temporarily increases physical damage upon a successful attack. That sounds stupidly good. And a new power, which is a great sword called Frozen Feast. That sounds insanely good, too. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Anyways. Before we go over there, I think that that's a path to progress. So if I have to guess, if I go over here, my first guess was that over here was a shortcut. But then I thought something... Of course, it is a beautiful shortcut. Anyways, with this one trigger, I think right now is where we're actually gonna be... Uh, well, no, let's not wrap things up. Let's go to the hotel first. Let's talk to her and let's see what she has to say. Hey, about my request last time. Did you give Ali Doro the gloves? Phew. Even the Union's advancement test didn't make me this nervous. All right, I'm ready. Tell me the truth. Did the gloves make Ali Doro happy? Oh no, decision make it. You know. I'm gonna say he was happy. I don't want to make her feel bad. She makes things for me, so maybe she will take it on me. Really? What a relief! I'm confident in my weapons, but it was my first time making gloves, so I was a little nervous. Okay, more than a little. Gloves seemed a logical gift because I know he lost a finger. I was there, after all. When the workshop tower collapsed, the Hound lost a finger saving me. We could have starved to death trapped under the rubble if it wasn't for the Hound's sacrifice back then. I, uh, I don't want to think about it. And yet I can't forget it. I will never repay that sacrifice, even if I spend my whole life trying. But I'm going to start now. Thanks. I was too shy to give such a gift to him myself. Speaking of gifts, I got something for you. Take it with my thanks. That is actually a really garbage gift. But anyways, this is where we're going to be wrapping things up for the day. Next episode, I guess we will try to clear the whole swamp if possible. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.